friends welcome to part 30 of laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first getting the admin panel so we are working on roles and permission uh, from last few videos and uh, we are going to update the permissions for the sub admins okay uh, as we are working on these roles and permission and in the last video we have seen that we able to create the permission form here roles and permission form okay once again we are going to log in into admin panel and we'll open the sub admin section here i will uh, do it like this close note now and here click on sub admins and we can open the unlock button here this one uh, it, that means to uh, add the roles and permissions for that particular sub admin like if you want to add the roles and permission for amit then you can click here if you want to uh, add for john singh you can click here okay so i am going to click on amit's roles and permission and here you can see the cms pages roles see view assess view edit assess full assess see so far we have added only one module cms pages so that's why we have added uh, the view view edit and full assess for cms pages only so once the admin select these two roles for this particular sub admin sub admin means like uh, we are updating for amit okay sub admin then once click on submit then see uh, like view one and edit one see there is no full assess so full assess is not coming full assess does not have any value so same we are going to update our admin roles table with these assess okay uh, and along with that sub admin id as well uh, then module name as well then view assess edit assess full assess here view assess uh, one value will come edit assess one value will come full assess zero value will come okay like this we are going to update the admin roles table and uh, we will also check there uh, uh, here in uh, here also we are going to check in form like uh, uh, like we have uh, checked this view and view edit assess once we have updated it will keep on okay the same thing so let's start working on this one uh, we are going to update this one and i am going to open this update role page update role where it is here it is okay so here i will also open the admin control where we have added the function of updating the role here okay so here we are going to uh, start updating this one i'm going to command this one okay so we can do one thing uh, we can uh, just uh, add one more uh, like this okay so here i'm going to update like uh, uh, first thing is that we are going to make uh, these sub admin roles and permissions empty before assigning new permissions okay so that thing uh, we are going to add first of all admins role here uh, we are going to make the permissions empty ignore this one uh, see here uh, we are having the sub admin id okay here as well so sub admin id here that we are sending uh, we are going to match with uh, this id as well okay dollar id okay so we are going to delete the earlier roles for this sub admin because we are going to set the new roles okay delete all earlier we can comment as well okay delete all earlier roles okay uh, for sub admin then after this we are going to add another command here uh, like uh, add new roles for sub admin okay add new roles for sub admin set by the admin okay so now uh, first thing uh, first one is we are going to check with is set first one is the dollar data uh, we are going to pick that that is first cms pages is coming after that uh, uh, view okay uh, see first one is the view and if view is coming uh, then uh, we will take one variable here dollar cms underscore pages underscore view see right now we are adding it like this but later on we will make this dynamic okay uh, like no need to write cms pages okay that i'm going to show that how to make this thing dynamic okay so that it will be easier for you in future once you add any module it will be easier for you uh, so uh, here if there is data that is coming in view means one is coming in view then we are going to set this variable 
uh, with this one value else we will set this variable with zero value okay so same thing we are going to do for uh, other two that are uh, uh, edit as well as delete okay so for uh, here I'm going to add here edit and here we're going to add full full access okay so, uh, so uh, finally we are going to add this one in admins role uh, model where uh, sub admin id is equal to this dollar id and here we are going to insert all the rows like uh, uh, first thing is that uh, we are going to add this uh, sub admin id okay I think uh, that we must not add it like this uh, we can try uh, with the another one like dollar roll equal to uh, new admin role okay like this we must try it like this okay dollar roll the first field is uh, that sub admin id okay sub admin underscore id and here we are going to add dollar id I think we must add it like this okay yeah okay so we're going to add it like this uh, next field is we're going to check its field uh, then module okay after that uh, uh, its view says then edit access then full access Finally, we are going to save the row. Okay, so sub admin ID is coming in dollar ID, and after that uh, module, we are going to add like CMS underscore pages. Later on, we will make this dynamic as well. Uh, and uh, view, we are going to add uh, this one dollar CMS page view. Okay. So CMS page edit comes in edit access and CMS page full will come in full access like this. Okay, so after saving, uh, we will uh, redirect back the server, uh, the admin to the roles page once again. Okay, dollar message here we are going to add it like this sub admin roles updated successfully rows and permissions okay return redirect back with success message here dollar message so we are going to check now let's see now here uh, i will first go back we'll update two of the roles here okay right now i'm going to move this one right now there is no entry okay so i'm going to select these first two one click on submit and okay this one is not added we need to add this one at the top this model okay so we will add this model admin's role now i'm going to continue and we'll see here it is not coming because we have not done that code so far so here we're going to check See role has been added here. View says one, edit access one, full access zero. Uh, module is CMS underscore pages and sub admin ID is two. Okay, so it is working fine. So next time I'm going to update with all three. Okay, so it will first delete this entry and will add. Okay, so let's see. We will click on submit and we'll check now. All three must be one. Okay, let's see. Yeah, all three are one. Okay. Uh, so like this we are going to up update the ro ro roles as well but uh, we need to highlight these as well okay so for that we need to update our code update roles code uh, okay so let's update our roles code here uh, we will bring uh, the for each loop in which we are going to 
check that which role the subadmin uh, is having okay so uh, if, if the subadmin is having that some particular role then we are going to check that otherwise we will not check that okay so that thing and that condition we are going to add it here okay so first of all we are going to get the roles that we have already selected uh, for the subadmin so we are going to uh, update the uh, that uh, update role function once again uh, see this one we will do it like this but here uh, we are going to add the code to get the roles here that uh, that already selected add sub admin roles here we will add sub admin roles sub admin roles okay so here i will take this admins role where sub admin id equal to this dollar id okay get and here uh, see uh, we can simply take it as the two array to convert it to array okay and this sub admin role uh, we can simply uh, return to that page okay so if we want to see we can check it out as well with dd okay so we can check once that the sub admin roles are coming here all three must be selected and here we can see all three are selected fine it is working fine okay so we can comment this one so now now uh, we uh, are going to update here so we are going to add here after this we are going to add one uh, for each loop here now we are going to first check that there is roles are coming or not if roles are not empty uh, that roles that we are sending from there dollar admin roles then uh, we are going to uh, work inside this okay so then in for each loop uh, we will take for each loop here okay then here dollar admin roles as dollar role and here uh, we will also end it here like this and for each okay so here we are going to add like uh, if uh, dollar role module equal to equal to cms pages as our module is cms pages okay uh, then we are going to check one more thing uh, but here uh, we will use and if okay then inside this we are going to take one more and if uh, dollar role view assess okay first of all we are going to take the view assess uh, equal to equal to one okay so in this case uh, add the rate of so uh, here else also will write then end if okay so if the view assess is one then uh, we will uh, take one variable here view cms pages like we have taken earlier as well it is equal to we are going to make it checked okay and we will close this and php like this so uh, in in else uh, we will make this empty checked will not be there okay so same thing we are going to do for other two uh, for edit as well as for uh, full okay sorry edit as well as for full okay so here also we are going to add the condition uh, like uh, if uh, that view cms pages uh, is not empty or is set value is coming okay that variable is coming itself okay then we are going to uh, add here okay then we are going to uh, make it checked okay so here we are going to we can add it last at last as well if uh, is set and here in is set we are going to take the first variable view cms pages okay so here 
we are going to take this variable once again like this okay so the value checked will come inside this then ending so this thing we are going to do for all here we are going to add the edit and here we are going to add full okay so let's see uh, i hope there will no issue will come so let's see here i am going to select the first two click on submit and no it is not showing but here here it is updating but it is not showing here we are going to see what is the issue exactly uh, that view assess role view says we are going to debug here okay mm, so for each role module we are going to check whether the uh, role module is coming here or not okay so first of all we are going to check here uh, like echo role module and php die here let's check it once uh, actually it is not doing anything okay uh, i think maybe it is not coming here not empty admin roles mm, uh, sub admin roles okay so sorry this one is sub admin role so that's why maybe that is the issue so now we are going to check once again now this time it is working fine i'm going to remove this one this one okay so now we are going to check here so these we have shown here i'm going to uh, click on full access as well and now it is showing as well okay we can up update these uh, roles and permission here like this okay so it is working fine and just the check is required here that we want to show the success message okay so that uh, we can show from any of the other uh, page we are we are we are showing the messages okay so we can pick this one success function here in update roles we are going to upgrade this one here and we are going to check it now uh, like uh, this one is showing the upgrade message or not okay like i have unchecked all the roles okay click on submit and here you can see the uh, sub sub admin roles updated successfully so you can see all the roles are empty right now there is no role given to this specific sub admin i am going to give the all the roles now click on submit see we have given the all the rights to the sub admin okay so in the next video uh, we are going to show for which sub admin we are going to add these roles and also uh, we will make our task little dynamic okay so here uh we want to make our uh, roles and permission dynamic c modules name we are going to make dynamic okay so that thing we are going to try in the next video okay so stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time